Hello, this is Double A with a new video. Uh, most of you may be aware I've done NBA 2K 16 and 17 videos, as well as WWE Supercard videos. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, it's a new game that's been released in the States, although it's been available to other places for a very long time now. But it's a game called WWE Champions. Um, it's a game that combines the Bejeweled and adds a little bit of WWE action to it. Now when you get into the main screen, you'll see basically it's, it's their sales pitch area, but it's their main... It's their main hub for everything that goes on. Um, currently right now you could get a Shane O'Mac contract which gives you coins and pieces to use for items. Um, there's level up packs. Uh, level up packs that you could get, move packs that you could get. Uh, to me, I, there was an Undertaker starter pack that I took advantage of, it's like for four ninety nine, but gave you an Undertaker plus a lot, plus enough to get him charged up and ready. Right now, there's a dual power pack that's a one-time offer that you get a pack that gives you Dean Ambrose, Darren Young, a couple of help packs, some cash, some coin, plus some other good stuff. You have your mailbox or your bulletin that shows you what's going on as well as any rewards that you get and free install rewards. When I installed the game there was a thing I, I think it might still be going on where you could get a Kevin Owens pl player to use in the game. You have in here your inventory and which is broken up into loot that's stuff that you all this stuff is stuff that you require through playing you have loot, you have posters. Your posters is what helps you charge up your player. Uh, you have tokens that gets utilized later to enhance your player to go even farther power-wise. Uh, there are props that get utilized in-game. Uh, like, for instance, this one, it built in the day. It adds protect gems to the board. They, have, they each have their own specific little things that they do. Um, you have missions that you go on that gives you a mission bag that once it's open it gives you things like coin or cash or props or loot, things of that nature. It's basically your daily, you can utilize it as your daily task. Uh, right now it looks like I have something to collect in my inventory. You can purchase the opportunity to get Superstar uh, for $400, for 400 4000 You can find that those, what that cost in the cash portion of it. Uh, two star superstars. Um, there are games that you play that allow you to get two star things that if you acquire about, let me see here. If you require 10,000 two star basically 10,000 points of two-star chips you get a loot open which means you get a two-star star basically gives you more power powerful players uh, premium superstars victory loot got some free loot so I'm gonna check that out real quick here so with that one I got a training point that I could utilize and that counts towards my towards my mission at the moment. There are payday bags that you get from time to time, but at the moment, since I don't have any, it's going to refer me to the Shane O'Mac contract. Currently, I have nine superstars in my roster. So let's open up, like, The Undertaker, for instance. So at this screen, you'll see... On the bottom left, you'll have moves that you could basically build up utilizing those posters that I showed you that I was telling you about. And then also where it says on the bottom right, where it says evolve, you'll learn tokens. Well, not tokens, but you'll earn props, well, equipment, 
that uh, allows you to evolve your player to the next level for more power. Uh, you'll earn money along the way to do that. Uh, you could join a faction. Right now I am part of the G4 Life faction. Uh, and here you need to heal your faction players. I'm going to go in and do that now. I do have a health token. I'm going to go ahead and help them out real quick. My daily reward, I got a victory loot. As you can see, as you go on, you'll acquire more, you'll acquire things every day. So if I log in tomorrow, I'll get a Triple H card. In fact, let me see what I did get as part of that victory loot. What you do get for winning things. I got a Bray Wyatt Lantern that's going to help me with Undertaker, I believe. Undertaker or Kane. Um, when you get up to level 5, which I am right now, you'll get into a versus mode where you take on a variety of teams and you'll go for you go for rewards like coins and a prop. Um, and where is that? 100. Basically, you earn your notoriety points towards rewards. Yeah. Battle-wise, you give a limited time towards that occur. In this case, since it's Wednesday, it's going to be main event Wednesday. You'll have Dean's Dailies, which gives you a chance to win win assorted awards. Um, right now, there's an event going on called Technician versus Powerhouse. You can win rewards that way. Uh, I'm not going to do a long video here, so if you get into the game, you can explore those on your own. Uh, what I will go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and pick a game to play real quick here. Matter of fact, let's find someone I've already beat. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and take on Wade Barrett. And, I'm going to, and it's going to have me choose a technician. There are some games that gives you the capability of picking anybody. There are some that are specific. With Dean Ambrose, he is a technician play. There are six different class advantages. There's a technician, a powerhouse, uh, an acrobat, a showboater, a couple of other things as well. Once you get in the game, you'll see what those are. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into battle real quick here. And this is going to be a simple battle. I'm not going to go too much into detail as to as to the ins and outs. There's tons of videos on YouTube that you can check out for that. So once this gets done, I get back to the new screen here. So I'm not going to be against King Barrett. You're pretty much not rushed into playing. So right now I could probably sit here forever and not even happen. But see on my side, the left hand side, you'll see a blue, a, basically a gold and a green. If I break gems of that color, it's going to add to that, to those power levels. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and start with yellow. And as you play, you do damage to your opponent. Play blue, that's going to target my first meter there. So you're going four duels, then it breaks up the entire roll, gives you more damage. So right now I have enough that I'm going to utilize one of my specials here, Tornado DDT, which allows me to deal 437 damage. And so while they're doing like a more damage, they break more damage. So right now I'm going to take the opportunity and use my second one, which I'm going to deal 733 damage. Make three random gems and 
red gems into green gems that's gonna allow me to power up power up what I'm gonna show on. And that is my finisher one. So right now I'm gonna go with a bit of strength. While I'm pinned if I do have energy. Then I break gems to get power to damage out. Right now I'm still working towards towards eventually my finishing maneuver. Although finish that earlier if the game deems it necessary. So if you get hit with her maneuver, your opponent has a little bit more chance to do more damage to it. And then it gets to be your turn. And I'm going to go with all blue. And the power that I put my finisher for me automatically, I'm going to put in my opponent. As you can see, the white boxes, those are deep boxes, so as you collect those, you get basically either coins or, or various stuff. Sometimes you could go all the way and put you know, more. Sometimes it has a big difference, sometimes it just gives you all something extra. And then it brings you back to your main screen which you pick another opponent or do what you will. And it also has tag team modes in there that you could play, which you pick of course two people to go against your opponents, uh, different t different circuits that you could take on, different difficulty levels you could do. Uh, as I get higher in this NXT tour, then it's going to unlock live tour mode, European tour. Uh, I'm not sure if you can make this out under all the grade, but you'll see that you need more power as you move up. But yeah, there's just so many ways that you could go in this game. If you like Bejeweled, if you like WWE, then this is the game for you. Uh, like I said, there's tons of, tons of great videos out there from people that have played a lot longer, that have had the game longer, that could give you a lot of great, a lot of good advice that you could choose from. That this is just basically my perspective of the game and giving you a good little introduction to the American audiences out there. I do hope you enjoy this. It may or may not be for you. I hope it is. If it's not, then like I said, then I've said in, previous, in other videos, there's lots of things in your app store that you could find that would be the perfect class slipper for you. So, so that is gonna be it for me today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing more of these videos since I have yet, since I'm basically still getting a feel for it, if there is something that I could do on a regular basis, I'm going to try to do so. But if you do view this video, give me a like, um, subscribe to me if you want. I do other videos from time to time. I'm not sure what the future of my gaming videos would be. Still kind of making some decisions in life, but I do hope you stay tuned for whatever video I put out there. If you do like this and you saw me through Twitter, go ahead and retweet this so your so people that you follow or people that follow you, I should say, can check this out too. Um, if you do want to support the channel, I do take Amazon coins. I'll put that in the description as well. So that is going to be it for me today. Um, thank you for this video about WWE Champions. Until next time, this is Double A. See you next time. And so long from ringside. Goodbye, everybody.